Yo, what's good, people? So recently, my guy Infinite got me cooking up a few West Coast beats for his channel. And I can't lie, man, I've been liking the vibe. It's definitely a good switch up from Drill. So in this video, I want to show you guys what I've been learning. And I'm going to be cooking up a full West Coast beat from scratch. And if you like what you hear and you want me to experiment with other genres on the channel, just let me know in the comments. And let's get straight into it. Alright, so for West Coast beats, BPM is usually around 100. And the first thing I want to start with is just uh, piano notes. I just want to use the bass keys. So we'll just get any grand piano for now. Something like this. So yeah, we just got it copied up an octave. We'll do another one. Copy that. Yeah, maybe just one more. Yeah, I think there. And with these notes, I don't mind the velocity being real high. All right, then I'm thinking we need some kind of pad. So we'll pull up Analog Lab. I like the sound of this one. Maybe we get the Juno. I think that sounds more West Coast. Try pitching this one up an octave. Or this one down. Yeah, maybe there. All right, we'll take Analog Lab again. I'm thinking we get some sort of roads. Just standard one like this. Then we can build a chord from here. Maybe strum that out. And then let's try from these notes as well. Yeah, I think the bass notes too. And then we can make chords from these first ones too. Or just those two. Just these up too. Or maybe we could swap these around. So I'm just repeating that same chord, but just bringing it up an octave. Copy that. And then have it up an octave again. Let's just try it. And then in that last section where the bass note changes, I'm just going to switch up the chord again. So just create standard 7th, I think. We'll randomize the velocity. And then we'll turn this one down. And then on that road, I've just got some Juno 6 chorus, some reverb. Then I'm thinking we could just add a couple of tension notes too. Then this chord could repeat, you know, and then I'll bring it up an octave. Hmm. Try again here. And then just one more passing note here. And then just bring these up one more octave too. And then I think just a little bit of delay on that rose too. Yeah, just kind of subtle. And then I had that pad muted because I thought it was a bit too much with that. But what I'm going to do is copy it. have this one play here. Then it will just add that subtle variation. Because it has that tail effect anyway. All right, next up, I want some kind of lead. And I'm thinking more of a whistle lead. So I'm going to go to Electra X. And yeah, I'm feeling this preset. I've used this one before. But I don't want all the layers playing. So if I mute everything, it's set for synth number three. <sighs> this is the one. So I just changed a couple of things. Mainly in the second half. Alright, next up I just want to add some sort of accent or texture underneath it. And I've actually been working on a brand new free kit for you all. So if anyone remembers my video a while back when I pulled out the Polybrute synth, I haven't really used it much since then. But in the past couple of weeks, I've been trying to use it a lot more. So I've just been experimenting really and I've created a lot of textures and accents. Just a bunch of unique sounds. So these just sound sick when you layer them under your melodies. Or you could use them as starters. 
They've all got the BPM synced as well. So if I drag them in, even though this one was at 143, it's going to lock into the tempo. This one's in C minor. So let's just pitch it up to D sharp. See what I'm saying? So we could cut it like this. Let's try another one too. This one could work. B minor, so it needs to go up four. Yeah, this one could work too, you know. These all sound sick. So if you want to download this, I've left a link to it in the description. All I'm going to do to that is just filter it out and then add some more reverb. Just because it's only acting as some atmosphere. Yeah, this texture actually sounds sick under this melody, man. So make sure you guys don't miss out on this kit because I spent a lot of time putting everything together for you and sound designing and everything. It's 100% royalty free too. So just click the link in the description. I think we could add a couple more things, but for now, I'm just going to root everything to the same mixer. Just take out some lows. All right, next up, I'm going to add a bass and I'm going to add a couple different ones. But the first one is going to be this preset in Electra X. It's sounding a bit too low there. Then maybe we could just come up like this. Then like that. But then on that bass, because the whole thing's in mono, I actually want to spread the mids and the highs. So I'm just using Ozone Imager. I think that sounds better, you know? All right, for the melody, I think that's all right for now. So let's get some drums in. Grab a hat too. And I think right at the end, it can just roll down. Maybe one here too. Yeah, let's repeat that one. This pass is hard. Then we'll get the kicking too. It's a bit of a different bounce. And then we'll switch to this at the end. We'll grab a shaker, think of rides, and then a stomp like this. Yeah, that's the one. And then for the shaker, I'm thinking just two here like this. And then with that ride, I'm just thinking something simple like this. This will only play in some parts. I'm liking the way this clock perk sounds as well, so I think we could fit this in somewhere. Then yeah, we've got to get the zap perk in as well. Yeah, just that one. Actually, with that stomp, I think we use this one instead. It's got a bit more low end. And one of the last things, I think we have to get a turntable effect. If you're wondering where all these sounds are coming from, they're actually from my Love and War drum kit. So I'll leave a link to that in the description too. But yeah, at one point, I'm going to want to take that bass out and then just add the spins. We'll make it a bit shorter and then we'll boost it up. So we'll just copy that bass pattern in. See how this sounds. We'll switch a few things up and then I think when that comes in, we don't really need the kick. Shift and D to shorten everything. Crazy, you know. All right, that's hard. I'm definitely feeling this so far. And I think that's enough drums. So I'm going to go ahead and split the channel, bring everything in. Let's copy it out a few times. I think for the beginning, we could just start with the piano bass. And then maybe halfway through, we could bring the roads in. Then maybe this lead too. But like that. Then we need the double hit before the drop. I 
want to hear more of that piano bass in the intro so i'm just going to take the eq off until the 808s come in here just cutting the 808s as well yeah, this is sounding mad. I'm also going to consolidate that intro though. Just so I can cut it properly and you don't get the reverb tail. And then this transition too. Alright, so for the hook, I think we'll just keep the pad out of the first section. Have it like this. Get rid of the ride. I think the shaker as well. Save that for the second time round. So yeah, just cut them there. In fact, maybe we'll just bring the pad in. And then in the verse section, we could take out this texture, maybe this Rhodes as well, and this lead. Bring the kit back in. And then yeah, at the end here, we can just cut everything and have it like we had the intro. And then we can just take everything from here. No, we're missing something from that part, man. We definitely need the stomp. There we go. All right, man, I think that's enough for the beat. So let's have a listen from the beginning. Just starting with the piano bass and then the rolls lead. J -cactus. J -cactus. Drop sounds crazy. Left the verse quite open. And a couple more perks. Then it starts dying off here, and we got the same drop. feeling this one you know so yeah if you want me to make more west coast beats let me know in the comments or if you want to see me cook up with my guy infinite just click up here or if you want me to stick to drill just click up here